Mary Kane fled through the moonlit woods, certain that her lungs would burst if she went any farther. But she dared not stop. The creature was right behind her. She could hear it crashing through the undergrowth, a low growl escaping its throat, and she knew that if it caught her, it would drag her to the deepest pit of hell, the very place from which it had surely been summoned. She also knew that she could run no longer. She had barely eaten for the past four weeks, surviving on only the thin gruel and holy water her husband had given her while keeping her shackled to the bed. Her wrists were rubbed raw and bleeding from the cruel iron manacles she had worn during her month of imprisonment, and she was sure that even if she managed to put a considerable distance between herself and her pursuer, the creature could simply follow the trail of blood she was leaving on the leaves and branches behind her. And not only her wrists were bleeding. The front of her white nightgown was stained deep red from the knife wound that traversed her stomach. The wound stung like a thousand bee stings, but she was sure the knife had not penetrated deeply enough to cause more than a superficial cut. That was due to her reflexes. She had instinctively sprung back when the blade had slashed at her. If not for that quick movement of avoidance, she was sure the cruel knife would have cut into her stomach and bowels. Hot tears streaked down her cheeks, joining the ones that had dried there over the past weeks. She had endured so much, but tonight her suffering would end. She was sure of that. Even if she could escape the foul demon that followed her, her old life was gone forever. She could never return to it, not after what she had discovered tonight. Better to let the demon take her. But she feared for her soul. If the beast had truly come from hell, then to succumb to it would mean being taken to the fiery pit to suffer eternal torment. It seemed she had no choice as the legs she had barely used in the past month had wasted away and would not carry her much farther, and her lungs burned like the fiery pit which she was desperate to avoid. 